All right, so um, the next part of the Soundflower tutorial series, uh, here we're going to work with logic in Pro Tools. Uh, how crazy is that? So what we've got is just a nice little, well, it's your opinion really, but all my opinion. Uh, here's a little riff I've done. Um, if it wants to play back, there we go. Okay, so would it, wouldn't it be nice to have that um, playing, have that MIDI in Pro Tools, but playing Logic's uh, ES2? Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to export the MIDI. Okay, so let's just do that. So let's check it on the let's check it on the desktop. Um, there we go. So we'll call that ES2 riff. All right, and let's bring that then into Pro Tools. Um, yes, I do have them open at the same time. So we can file and import uh, MIDI. Um, let's do that. Open that. And I'm going to chuck it in the clip list and then drag it in. So let's make a new MIDI track. Uh, what have we got with this? I think it must have been that. Uh, no, that was that one. Okay, it's not that one. Uh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's what it was. Okay, and let's just crop that up like so. And chuck that there and get, oops, and get rid of this track. Now this is where you've you've got to remember you're working in both Pro Tools and Logic, so I keep doing things like deleting tracks in Pro Tools that will work in Logic but not Pro Tools. All right, um, okay, let's just make that nice and neat, like so, and call that ES2 because we want to keep organised. So here's our MIDI now. If again, let's look at our, this is going over the IAC driver because we don't really have a to uh, logic here. So we're just going to do an IAC driver and then hope for the best. Um, let's create a new auxiliary so we can listen to what's coming back. Uh, let's go for that. And we're going to make the inputs our sunflower. Okay, now in Pro, no, in Logic, we are now going to set our out audio output to be uh, Sunflower. I'm going to apply that. So we're not going to play this at all. We're just going to go straight to the ES2. Let's see if that works. And then hopefully we should be listening back here. Call that ES2 false. Uh, okay. There we go. Let's see if that works with our drum loop. Okay, so there's some syncing issues there, but we've got, we've got the gist of it. Um, we could explore some playback engine. Let's take the buffer size down. Let's see if we can get away with that. That should help the latency.
Okay, so what we might do there then is convert that to audio and um, see if that helps and line it up a little bit better there. But you get the gist, there's using the logic with, um, with Pro Tools. The other thing you can do is if you've got a bit of an arrangement going on, is to, in, in logic, and you wanna sort of linearly play back your, your arrangement here, what we can do is, is synchronize the two. So let's just make that loop uh, a little bit. And then we can set logic to go to project settings, synchronization. We can change the sync mode to MTC MIDI timecode. And that should work pretty good. And then we can switch on um, our MIDI timecode in Pro Tools. And then if we just we'll mute the MIDI, so we're not sending any MIDI now in, into its logic. And actually, let's let's keep that loop there. Okay, that seems to be uh, a bit better sync, so that might be a better way of doing it. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, Pro Tools and Logic at the same time. Excellent.